Good job, Barbara Kev. Thank you, Barbara Kev. Nothing better than free. And I made my bed again. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I just don't make my bed. In fact, a lot of the time I don't make my bed. And she, this, this young lady was making her bed every day for like a week and a half straight. But she just got off the wagon to making her bed. And I can't complain because, yeah, I don't make it. So, I need to go finish that table. And... Then I want to share with you guys where I'm going to put the table, like, obviously, down the family room. I think I talked about that in Insta stories. But, you know, share with you guys where I'm going to put it downstairs. Um, I also want to put this adorable thrifted... It's supposed to be, like, a plate or a cup and saucer holder. It has, like, the little slots back here. It has a little slot back here for your plates, and you put the little cups in front of it. But I thrifted it at Gypsy Emporium. I talk about them a lot on Insta stories. I do their Instagram account. And it was like an ugly kind of muted creamy yellow color and I chalk painted it white. But I'm going to hang this in my kitchen and I'll share that as well. that I've been using for years. Pretty much the only chalk paint I've ever used for bigger projects in my house. Get it at Home Depot. Some of the areas where some of the black is kind of still peeking through. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I want the black to show through anyway, but if it's green popping through, I'm gonna hit it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the table and I will share it when I'm all done. The other thing you could do if you get too much chalk paint is just take some paper towels and kind of wipe it off. things that you can kind of lightly sand off it will come off and then since I already painted this area black I don't really need to hit it with a chalk paint just again some of the green areas <laughs> So this is the remaining leftover trunk dug down in the ground. This was seriously like, I don't know, 50. How big was that tree do you think before you cut it down? 50 feet. It was like a monster. It's been like months and months and months of killing this thing. What did you go buy to put in it? Really? Well, that's a drag. This whole huge area out here is going to be the garden, and I want to do like a big trellis leading into it. I was thinking maybe turn those into benches or something, but I figured I'll yeah, just, I said that stools. I'll slice them, and then the big we'll, ones could be seating stools, like those three. I think I'm just going to slice them and pave this whole whole area with them. You guys hear that? Yeah. He's going to slice them and pave this whole area, right? This whole area in here, right in here, it's going to be like our fire pit area. You guys will see all of that stuff as we do the yard more and more, but it's still getting rototilled. This used to be weeds and rocks, and now it's all rototilled. Oh, buddy! Back here is the sixth room. Like, the house has six rooms if this one's complete, but it's our storage room. And it's huge. Ideally, we would love to finish this room and make it like a master suite or like a mother-in-law's room 
who have her own little bathroom in here and because it's really big um, but we also want to enclose it in so we would enclose this room all the way in and over to this window here so this whole area of the patio would be like a sunroom or something like that and then it would enclose this bedroom and this door would go away and this would just be open so we would have six rooms in the house then anyway there's so many things we want to do if you guys have a house especially an old house there's lots to be done and we're always improving our homes and that's what makes it fun new or old I just wanted to come out here and kind of show you guys what hubby was doing and I'm gonna go back and work on the table okay so I have anyway I can't see the name but this is like a dark walnut and then this is golden pecan by Minwax and I'm gonna mix both these in a bowl these kind of wood I don't know what to call them architectural pieces that I found at the thrift store they were each three dollars I keep forgetting to share them with you guys like here or on insta stories because they've been sitting out in my garage so I decided to bring them in and I'm going to stain them as well but I'm gonna stain them right now and then I'm gonna share where I put them and how I use them so I'm gonna do that right now That was easy. A little bit of pecan first, and then I did the darker walnut kind of over it. I was not careful, I just slapped it on and spread it around. <laughs> Let's go put these in the house. Let's go put these in the house. Right here. Put the house. What's up, deep thought? What's up, deep thought? What's up, what? Deep thought. I had to open the window to air out all the different scents. So we got fire burning out there. Stain fumes air out. But one yummy scent is dinner in the crock pot and rolls rising. So that smells good among, among all the strong scents. And here's the shelf all done. I think it looks so cute. And I love how it like complements the open shelves. Okay, so it is it's 2.46 and mama's pooped. So now I need to take the table downstairs. It's all dry. That wood, all sanded down, just sucked up that stain in no time and clean up the family room because I know it's a bomb from the boys and then share the table with you guys. But All right, so I'm gonna go do that. Stay tuned. I didn't seal the top yet because I need to get some satin um, polyacrylic and then once I get that I'll seal the top but 
but honestly it's fine because my kids are not allowed to have any food or drinks down here so I'm not really worried about the top getting ruined or anything like that but I still would like to seal it and there you can see I hung the little arched wood pieces I just hung them up there and then I put a nail there Thank you. 